The first lucky shopper to say yes will land a brand new backyard with a new paper patio, a flaming water feature, and a one-of-a-kind stainless steel hot tub. Are you the guy? You guys, Woo! all right. So here's what I got. Okay, meet the magician Michael Anthony. All right, hey, Michael. designer, builder, right. project manager, good. and then he comes with Keith Dietrich with Lester's Materials. I got Billy Michaelis. He's construction and artwork. Okay, you? I don't even know if we're gonna fit all you guys in the backyard. To tell you the truth, get the plan. Let's go show them in the backyard. All right, all right. lay it out for him, Michael. Really tell him what we got. All right, we're gonna start out by demoing everything here. We're gonna bring in a custom stainless steel spa, a fire and water feature and a custom um, bar with mosaic all around the face wow. of it. Wow. And of course, landscaping new, all new throughout. New patio, new planting. New everything. The only thing that's going to stay original in this yard is you, you, the house, and the garage. Wow. That's it. Sweating. It's nuts. My like, heart was like pumping. It was crazy. I have the smallest backyard probably in Chicago, and there, we, had, we barely had enough room to fit everybody. Coming through. But he says you're good. Now prove it. Dietrich, let's do it. That's going to be your radius? Seven foot radius. Okay, but you're going for a 14 foot diameter? Yeah, you're 14. You think, dog? You did math like me. <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> Seven foot right inside of the pump. So that's that, three and a half. So now half of that. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we can get a landscape in here. Plus, the mother of all hot tubs. This is the largest spa we have ever tried to put in a yard. But will the half-ton delivery make it off the truck? Out back, the massive effort to dig the hot tub pit continues. The hole for the hot tub is finally dug out. Out front, it's a big delivery. This is the largest spa we have ever tried to put in a yard. But getting it off the truck is the first challenge. The forks nearly puncture the hot tub. There you go, Keith, you're all the way in. With the forks in place, they strap the hot tub to the cat. The hot tub weighs more than half a ton. One wrong move with the cat, and both could tumble over, taking Keith and the guys with them. Going back, Keith. All you. You're clear in the truck. You're clear on the truck. Take your time. Take your time. The hot tub is not only huge, but eco-friendly. Today, with where we got going, it's hard for me to even say if we're 50%. We'll be all right. You got the second crew. We got fresh meat. I think it'll work. If it doesn't work, his name is Michael Anthony. If it does work, Michael's my homeboy. Yeah. All right. But before the hot tub can go into the ground, they must build a sturdy foundation. First, the bottom gets a compact layer of base rock to ensure good drainage. And a retaining wall to hold back the soil. And it's just like building any other wall. So long as you get the base right and it's nice and level, everything Correct. else is just stacking on top. Correct. Got it. And no pins. This is all just adhesive, huh? Yeah, that's all uh, adhesive. Over on the old patio area, the ground has been excavated and compacted with a couple inches of base rock. And before paving can begin, an even layer of sand goes down. Got the pattern all figured out? Yep. Three stone pattern. So Unilock gives you the pattern to follow. And all you have to do is play the puzzle pieces up. Midday and the finishing touches are added to the foundation and retaining wall of the spa. Now they're ready to drop in the hot tub. Matt, I think you get three or four guys down in the hole. And Still we'll just start, just yep. supported? Yeah, just it, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. It's up. They're walking over. It's a play-by-play. -play. He's going to get on the inside. Stand right there. Stand right there. I'm going to get your rope. Mark, now would be a good time for you to exit. Don't let go, you guys. Everybody out. Don't let go, don't let go. Mark, you got this white rope. One snap, one snap. Now we're holding the edge, now we're holding the edge. 
I still can't believe it's in my backyard. I, I've been working all day, and I think that I'm working for somebody else because this is just, you know, it's too good to be true to have something like that in your backyard. Yeah. Okay. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Next, work begins on a fire and water feature. On a layer of base rock, they measure the radius, then stack stone blocks using a rubber mallet to pound them level into place. They top off the stone blocks with pavers. Now this Chicago couple is getting a full-blown backyard makeover, but they gotta finish before the day is out. We still have a lot more work to do, but uh, it's getting there. With all the pavers in place, the crew compacts sand between the joints. Four yard crashers showed up. I had a few trees, a lot of bushes, a lot of dead, dirty, old grass, a patio that was broken down. Look at my backyard right now. I just want to pass out. It is unbelievable. Now I've got a hot tub, a fire pit, a bar, more trees and bushes and beautiful plants that I know what to do with. Well, there was an old rusty fence before, now there's just Great big six foot PVC, beautiful white fence. It looks gorgeous. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Truth is, we had about 75 people for each day in your yard, you guys, okay, to get all this done. You guys are phenomenal, so I'm giving it up to you guys, okay? Hey. You guys represent Chicago. I'll come back here anytime so long as I get to work with this man. Okay. And then Keith from Lester's has something to say too. Uh, I gotta go. My wife doesn't know I'm here. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap, guys! Yeah. Another Chicago yard done. <laughs>